So we're all starting from the same page. I'm going to show you how to go into Scratch and download a file from our Canvas page and then add it into Scratch so we are all starting on the same point. So in our fifth grade specials, we're going to go and click on Innovation Special. And we are going to look under Season 2, Episode 4, Innovation, Adding 3D Effects. And we are going to download the Running Cat 3D Episode 3.sv3 file. So I'm going to save this by clicking on it, clicking on Download. And if you're on a Chromebook, it'll save to your files. If you're on a Windows machine, it'll save to your download files. So now I'm going to go into Scratch. And I'm going to click on Create. And I'm going to click on File load from my computer and then I'm gonna go and look for the file that I just downloaded so mine is in the downloads folder right here I'm going to click open And it will bring the code into Scratch for me to work on. It'll say, it may give you this message to replace the contents of the current project. That's okay. And here we are. So now we are all going to be starting on the same spot. It has all of the code that we worked on in the last lesson. And then an extra little bit that we may be adding to this lesson. Next thing we'd like to do is add in our 3D effect. So in our ball, we want to do some things with size. So we're going to go up here to our green flag clicked and go to looks. And we want to find our set size block. So we want to set the size to 100%. So I want to drag that in and put that right there. Then I want to do some things with layers. So that way we know if the cat is in front of the ball or behind the ball. So in here between these two blocks, I'm going to add in another conditional. So I'm going to separate these. And the conditional is going to be an if then else. Put that right in there and connect this back up. And we're going to put in some looks. So we go to the looks and scroll down to we find layers. There it is right there at the bottom. So we're going to go to the front layer here and we're going to go to the back layer here. And the way we're going to check that is we're going to see how big the cat is. So we have to find some way of sending the information about the size of the cat to the ball. So we need to create a variable. So I'm going to go back to my cat and we're going to create a variable by clicking on variables. We don't need this one, but they give it to us anyway. It's the starting variable. So if you want, we can right click and delete that and get it out of the way. We're going to make a variable and it should be for all sprites. So don't change this. We're going to call it cat size. So now we know the cat size. For now, we're going to leave this box up here so we can kind of see what's going on. And what we want to do is in our controls for our um, directions. So what we're going to do is go to 
our two controls that move the cat backwards and forwards in our 3D world. And we're going to set the cat size variable. So we're dragging these two blocks in, which is the sets cat size to zero block under variables. Then we're going to go back to our looks menu and scroll down to find size. So this is the size of the cat. So we're going to put that in here instead of the zero. And that will set it to the size of our cat. So we're going to go now to ball and look at our condition and change this so that if the cat size, so we're going to go to operators and drag in this green hexagon. There we go. So we're going to drag this green hexagon in and put it inside of our conditional right there. Then we're going to change that number from 50 to 110. So if the cat size is greater than 110, then it, the ball will be behind the cat. If the ball is, if the cat size is less than 110, then the ball will be in front of the cat. So right now we can't tell that our cat is really in front of or behind the balls because anytime a ball touches the cat, it's going to pop. So it doesn't really look like the balls are in front of or behind the cat, but we're about to fix that. We're going to build a very special condition and we're gonna replace touching cat with this condition. So let me show you the condition we're gonna build. Right here, it looks kinda of complicated, but I'm gonna show you how to build it step by step. So we're gonna get some blocks together. First, we're gonna click on the operators and we're gonna get two of these blocks, two and blocks. And we're going to put one AM block inside the other AM block like that, so they overlap. Next, we're going to get two blocks, one that says greater than 50, one that says less than 50. So we're going to put the greater than 50 here and the less than 50 here. And I'm going to put the greater than 50 in this middle hexagon takes a little bit of work to get it in there. You got to move it around until it highlights. You see how it highlights right there? Then I'm going to take this one and put it in the last hexagon and it highlights right there. Now to move it around, you have to grab this first and so we can see it. The next thing I'm going to do is take the variable cat size and put it in these first circles here and here. And finally, we have to get our sensing operator and see if it is touching the cat. So when we look at this, we now have it almost the same. We're just going to change our numbers so it's 110 and 121. There we go. We have the same conditional. So now I'm going to replace this condition with this new condition. Now you got to grab it carefully and just grab it by the and and drag it up until it's lined up with the hexagon. See how it lights up? And then drop it. And we can move this out of the way. So now when we run this, we have our cat and we can see, if I can see one that comes near it, any time now. Maybe I'll speed it up so it happens a little bit faster. There we go. You can see the balls are behind it and it's not catching it. So I am now going to change my cat so he gets further back. And you can see that the balls are still behind him. I'm going to go further back. It's hard to tell how far to go back. So one thing we can do is click on variables 
and next to the cat size, we can click on that and see exactly where we are. So we're at 140, we have to go to 110. Still behind him, 120, there he is. Now it's in front of him. See that? So we wanna go, so we're exactly between 110 and 121. I'm gonna move him forward a little bit and now I can catch the boss because I'm in the right layer. So now my game has three dimensions. I have to be not only right under the ball, but I also have to be in the right three dimensions. So if I go too far back, the balls are in front of them. And if I go too far forward, the balls are behind him. Let's go really far forward and you can see, see the balls are behind him. And that is adding our three dimensions to our game. So that's all for today. Bye for now.